Hello, my name is Leslie, and I am a student at Lisa Academy. Today I'm going to show you how to do the color changing milk demonstration, and I'm going to explain to you a little bit about how it works. For this demonstration, you will need a pie plate, one Q-tip, dish soap, food coloring, the more colors you have, the more interesting it gets, and some milk. So first, you need to set the pie plate out and pour enough milk into it to cover the bottom of the pie plate. Then you need to add a couple dots of food coloring. You only need to add about 15 drops of food coloring because after that, it gets kind of confusing. You want to take a Q-tip and squeeze a little dish soap onto it, or you can put the dish soap in a bowl and you can dip the Q-tip. Then you're going to want to insert the Q-tip into the center of one of the dots. You want to insert the Q-tip enough so that the dish soap comes in contact with the milk, but you don't want to push it all the way down to the bottom of the pie plate. After that, you should just hold it there and watch all the colors. You'll notice the colors swirling around in the milk. This is because the dish soap has both a polar and a non-polar end, so that it can attach to both water and grease, which makes it helpful for cleaning dishes. In this case though, the fat particles in the milk are non-polar, and according to polarity, Polar attracts polar, and nonpolar attracts nonpolar. So the fat particles attach to one end of the dish soap, and the fat particles move towards your Q-tip, which causes the different colors because the food coloring moves with the milk. After all the nonpolar ends of the dish soap have been attached to the milk, the milk will stop moving. You'll notice if you hold the Q-tip there long enough, there won't be any more interaction with the no matter what depth you put it in. It's just going to stay there. This is how the color changing milk demonstration works. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.